Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally going to finish a project that I've been meaning to get done and that is my fireplace. Well, faux fireplace. As you may know from my new home tour video, I bought this fireplace mantle from an antique store located down the road from us and I've had the plans to turn it into a fireplace. When I first got it, I loved the color and I loved the chipped paint, but after I got my hutch and started to decorate it and then started to decorate my kitchen living a little more, I soon realized that it wasn't doing it for me anymore and it was time for a change. And with the holidays rapidly approaching, I've been feeling even more the need to check this off my to-do list. I want us to be able to enjoy it as soon as the weather gets cooler, especially when our family comes down to visit. Also, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Aubrey. I'm fairly new here on YouTube. I make videos relating everything to home, such as decorating and thrift hauls. I would love to have you here, so please subscribe, like, and comment, and all that other good stuff. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on with the video. I bought this brick paneling from Lowe's and had it cut to size. This will be going behind the mantle and below my stove. And I picked up these samples at Lowe's as well. I am going to be painting the mantle the color Extra White by Sharon Williams. In order to fill in the chip parts, I'm taking the paintbrush and tapping in the paint. This original paint on the mandel has lead in it, so I'm doing everything I can to avoid sanding it. I didn't care much for the color of the brick paneling, so I'm going to mix up some colors to darken it up a little with acrylic paint and make it appear as if it's real brick. I 
I'm taking a small paintbrush and applying the dark brown color in random spots and then blending it in with a paper towel. I'm not looking for perfection, just again trying to make the bricks look real. I later learned after some trial and error that a cheap paintbrush actually works a little better when going for that aged brushed look. These you can find just about anywhere for cheap. I'm now going to be repeating the same painting technique on the bottom portion of the paneling. Here is the finished look. I love how it turned out. I might tweak it just a little bit more, but overall I'm so happy with how it turned out. If you have any questions about how I've done something in this video, please don't hesitate to leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I made this video to be short when in reality, it did take me two days only because I am picky about how things are. I will also leave a link below of where I've got my stove and paneling in case you were wondering. And thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.